about skills, forget about X's and O's, it's a mindset of f***ing believing. It's amazing what can f***ing happen. So you stand in there. You stand in there and you don't take a f***ing backward step. Not for a f***ing second. It's a great f***ing opportunity to stand right face to face with him and go right f***ing to him. There is no one taking a f***ing back step here. All right, let's get ready to This is John Tortorella, coach of the Columbus Blue Jackets. And the reason why he just gave a speech for the ages is because if his team wants any shot at beating one of the best teams in hockey history, they are going to need to follow his every word. By definition, the underdog is a competitor thought to have little chance of winning a fight or a contest. In this series, the John Tortorella-led Columbus Blue Jackets fit that exact description. Matching up against the President Trophy winning Tampa Bay Lightning, this matchup was over before it even started for a lot of hockey fans. In the regular season, the word dominance doesn't fully describe what the Tampa Bay Lightning were doing to other teams. With 62 wins, they tied the all-time regular season wins record held by the 95-96 Detroit Red Wings. This team from top to bottom was stacked. Offensively, you had the NHL's leading scorer in Nikita Kucherov, but along with him was the former 60 goal man himself and captain Steven Stamkos, along with the incredibly versatile Braden Point. Tampa also had offensive depth oozing out of their lineup from top to bottom, but they also had one of the best decors in the league, led by Victor Hedman and Ryan McDonough. This team was just daunting to go up against. Not to mention, they were being backstopped by one of the greatest goalies in the world in Andre Vasilevsky. This raw talent alone was enough for them to slice through the league and earn the President's Trophy. On the other side of the spectrum are the Columbus Blue Jackets, a franchise that has drowned in mediocrity since its inception. In their 18-year team history, they had only won 5 out of 21 playoff games coming into this season. Two of those wins actually came from the year prior against Ovi and the Capitals, but after going up 2-0 in the series, they proceeded to lose 4 straight. To make things even messier, heading into this season, Blue Jackets star forward Artemi Panarin and goaltender Sergei Bobrovsky both only had one year remaining on their deals, giving management two choices. Either trade these players for future assets, or go on a playoff run and risk losing these star players for nothing in free agency. Columbus decided to double down and give this group one last run by adding at the deadline. The Jackets just squeaked into the playoffs after getting the last wildcard spot in the remaining few days of the season and ultimately setting up a David versus Goliath matchup with the Tampa Bay Lightning. But for John Tortorella, he made something extremely clear prior to game one. Forget about the skill, forget about trying not to get embarrassed, just stand in there, go face to face with them without backing down even an inch. So with Columbus being fired up with the speech, how did the Blue Jackets respond? Well, they went down three goals to start the first period. Not exactly the performance you want, but it was the period everyone expected out of the series. Tampa was going to come in and absolutely steamroll the Blue Jackets in four games and move on for their inevitable quest for the cup. Now, there's no footage of what Tortorella said between periods, probably because it somehow was filled with even more F-bombs, but something remarkable did happen. Columbus, despite being down by three in the first, did exactly what their coach asked. They stood in the fire and they didn't back down. Captain Nick Foligno would jump all over a tipped puck for a breakaway, and he gets them on the board with 10 minutes left in the second. Tampa would do a decent job at weathering the storm until about 12 minutes left in the third, where shutdown defenseman David Savard would pick up the puck for a rush. Pressuring him is Tampa's stud on the back end in Victor Hedman. With Savard being the player he is, Hedman kind of anticipates him to drive to the outside and make a safer play. Except Savard channels his inner Mario Lemieux and actually toe drags around Victor Hedman. Buying himself a second of space, Savard fires one on nut and cuts Tampa's lead down to one. The seed of doubt has officially been planted. Tampa would get an opportunity to snuff out this fire on their number one ranked power play, but instead, an ill-advised pass from Tampa's Kucherov would spark a short-handed rush. Josh Anderson would cut into the middle, cook Victor Hedman yet again, and bury to tie the game. In game one, the President Trophy winners had officially blew a 3-0 lead. A team that had faced very limited adversity all throughout this season was getting their first dose at maybe the worst time possible. 
Now, instead of the jackets looking frazzled, it was the lightning. Trying desperately to get momentum back on the power play, forward Alex Kalorn would get a bit excited and take a high sticking penalty to give Columbus a massive opportunity to fully swing the momentum in their favor. Morensky looks it over around the clock, Panarin, and now Jones with a shot. He scores! Columbus has climbed that mountain and now they're at the top. That look right there is pure disbelief. The team that looked unbeatable in the regular season just got beat in the most humiliating fashion possible. Then everything started to fall apart. After they got out to a great start, and John Tortorella made all the right decisions. He stunned by Matthew Shane. Out in front, what a stop, but a big throw. Cam Atkinson got to it. Lost to the season ago. Wierenski finds a hole. Columbus is ready to play her tonight, and they're making it really hard on the star players. That's a clean, hard hit. Yes, again, Panarin in front. Duchesne shut down, but they score. Heavy minutes. Nash with a shot. He scores. With Stamkos in front. Oh, for goal. Department of Player Safety has suspended Nikita Kucherov for one playoff game. The league's best team in the regular season is down two games. Columbus winning the first two in Tampa. Nikita Kucherov has received a one-game suspension. Wierenski, his shot goes off that Zalewski, they score! To the outside, Bjorkstrand, score! Panarin, empty net, Atkinson, bullseye! The Tampa Bay Lightning were self-imploding. Frustration started to boil over and uncharacteristic mistakes caused Tampa to drop games 2 and 3. Down 3-0 in the series, if there was one team talented enough to come back, surely it had to be the Lightning. However, if they lost, they would become a part of NHL history for all the wrong reasons. In a crucial game 4, all the pressure in the world laid squarely on the shoulders of the Tampa Bay Lightning. They looked like a team playing to not lose instead of playing to win. Their hesitation was costly as Columbus would score two quick goals in the first five minutes of the game. However, Tampa showed some much needed resilience to claw back and tie the game after being down 3-1. Just when it seemed like Tampa was starting to come alive, Columbus would bang home a loose puck and once again demoralize the Lightning. Now. Tampa only has 20 minutes to avoid being a part of the most pathetic collapse in NHL history. Trying desperately to tie the game, Tampa just can't solve Sergei Bobrovsky. From game one, John Tortorella made it clear that the Blue Jackets weren't here to just show up and get their asses kicked. At every point in this series, they did exactly what their coach asked and brought the fight to Tampa in every aspect of the game. Because of that mentality, they find themselves in a position to do something truly special. So with the net empty for Tampa, a goal here for Columbus would inevitably ice this series. If Columbus wins, it's their first playoff series win in franchise history. It would also mark the first time a President Trophy winner has ever gotten swept. So with the puck bouncing over to none other than Artemi Panarin, you're about to witness one of the most bizarre upsets in hockey history. What a job going down the gun and he's still... Artemi 